Hey guys, today I'm going to react to this video about the richest people in the world and their homes. So I'm pretty curious to see what kind of homes the richest people have. I know Elon Musk is probably going to be on this list and I know he gets like the super tiny house but it will be interesting to see what the others have. So let's see. Let's see. Mentioning the word home evokes a sense of comfort and modesty. While some people love big houses and the enormous space it brings, for some people, it's not the size that matters as much as the soothe and security we feel wow, within this crazy. place we call home. Many people have to rethink about I would love to own a home by the ocean. That's like, would be like my, like if I could choose any home, that would, that would be what I would choose, it would be by the ocean buying a property and struggle with mortgage payments and the like, but for the world's richest, expensive properties are nothing significant compared to their vast sea of wealth. These guys can purchase some of the most extravagant, lavish oh, yeah. homes outright without a second thought on the matter. These people have redefined the word home, and now it's more than just modesty That's and crazy. utility to them, but a form of expression of extravagance and vanity, where they can spend most of their fortune, afford unimaginable luxuries, and flaunt their wealth. Here are the incredible homes of the richest billionaires. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos founded e-commerce giant Amazon in 1994 out of his garage in Seattle. He stepped down as CEO. That's still so amazing. He was able to do that from his garage. <laughs> to become executive chairman in 2021. He has amassed a massive real estate portfolio across the U.S., from his home state of Washington to New York City. Wow. According to the Land Report, Bezos is the 28th largest landowner in the United States. He owns over five homes Whoa, across the what? USA. That looks like a palace, like something that the president would own. That's insane. From two neighboring Beverly Hills mansions to a sprawling estate in an exclusive Seattle suburb. Here are all the residential properties Bezos is known to own in the U.S. I wonder what it's like owning so many houses. Oh, Bezos' yeah. two homes in Medina span 5.3 acres. One home is a 20,600 square foot, five bedroom, four bathroom house. And the other is an 8,300 square foot, five bedroom, four bathroom home. Damn. Rumored to have cost $53 million. Only $53 million. I mean, for him, that's nothing. That's crazy. Bezos also owns properties in Beverly Hills, California, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. The first Beverly Hills house did not fit Bezos' space requirements. In 2017, wow. he bought a comparatively modest four-bedroom, 4,568-square-foot home for $12.9 million right next door to his first house. His <laughs> most recent Beverly Hills per- Wow, so it wasn't big enough, so he just bought another house for $12 million just to make it bigger. Purchase is the Warner Estate. Bezos bought the nine-acre property for a whopping $165 million, making it the most expensive home ever sold in Los Angeles. The Warner Estate was designed for Jack Warner, the former president of Warner Brothers Studios in the 1930s. Oh, really? Bezos huh. reportedly bought the home from billionaire David Geffen, who bought it back in 1990. Bezos owns the largest house in Washington, D.C. He bought the house at the former textile museum for $23 million. He is neighbors with the Obamas, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. Before huh. Bezos' divorce was finalized, these properties also belonged to his wife, Mackenzie Bezos. As ever oh, I wonder, I forgot about that. He got a, in a, a divorce. I wonder if he's going to have to give some of his houses to her. Everything acquired throughout the marriage is considered joint property in Bezos' home state of Washington. It's unknown how Bezos' properties were divided after his divorce from oh, Mackenzie yeah. Bezos was finalized in July 2019. Elon Musk. As one of the world's richest men, Elon Musk can easily afford to drop hundreds of millions of dollars on any lavish home he wants. Oh, yeah. After selling off most of his real estate assets and moving to Texas in the past year, Tesla co-founder and CEO Elon Musk revealed in early June that he now only owns one house and that his primary residence is a $50,000 tiny box house that he says he rents from his oh, rocket. Yeah. That was what I was talking about in the beginning of the video because I, I watched... Uh... I mean, I reacted to uh, Elon Musk's house and Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, but it'd be interesting if this, uh, they talk about other billionaires as well, but it still blows my mind the fact that he got a little house.
private company SpaceX. The tiny house comes with some cool amenities like a full-size kitchen that hosts a large fridge, double sink with a view, oven, dishwasher, microwave, and shaker cabinetry. The bathroom with deep shower tub, vessel sink, large counter, backlit mirror, and sliding glass barn door. A 375 square foot living room with huge doors and windows, wide plank composite. I almost wonder if this is what our future is going to be like. We're not going to have these massive houses. We're just going to have these little block blocks instead um, with an increase of population. So maybe this will be a good uh, alternative. So something that everybody could afford. Flooring, built-in ironing center, washer dryer, heating and air, and promises ultra low utility bills. He is currently worth $187 billion and is no stranger to millions of dollars in real estate. Musk had a combined $72 million worth of homes around the Los Angeles area. He tweeted in May 2020 that he would own no house, and true to his word, Elon Musk uh. is well on his way to owning no house. Musk has now made nearly good on his promise to do so, selling six of his seven properties. Wow. In December 2020, Musk sold four Bel Air properties but I'm still curious though about I mean I get he's trying to like you know probably do it for the reduce his uh, carbon footprint but I'm still curious where his kids live for a combined $61.89 million. He originally spent nearly $55 million on those properties, purchasing them between 2015 and 2019. Overall, Musk has made an estimated profit of $19.2 million on his home sales over the past year. Wow. The only house I own is the Events House in the Bay Area. If I sold it, the house would see less use and less bought by a big family, which might happen someday, Musk said. A few days later, he confirmed he had put it up for sale. Decided to sell my last remaining house. Just needs to to go to a large family who will live there. It's a special place. It remains oh, unclear yeah. whether Musk is renting any other houses, though. Bill Gates. Bill Gates is no. I mean, that's a thing that kind of puzzled me. It's like, okay, I get it. You want to sell these houses, but why don't you just rent them out? I just feel like that would make more sense. This is kind of what he did in. No longer a CEO, but his time as founder and CEO at Microsoft has made him one of the most recognizable individuals and richest people in the world. His house is no different from many of the homes highlighted in this video. The mansion named Xanadu 2.0 is a stately pleasure dome wow. indeed. The sprawling 66,000 oh, square foot this. complex sits on Lake Washington in the Seattle area, Crazy. in the same pampered neighborhood as the home of Jeff Bezos, making it home to some of the wealthiest people on the planet. It took Bill Gates seven years and 63 Three million dollars to construct the masterpiece. In 1988, Bill purchased the lot for two million dollars, but it's estimated. I mean, so far out of all the houses, this is definitely one of my favorites. It is worth now is more than 130 million dollars since the house's construction. The home has eight bedrooms, but can serve as a gathering place for the masses. Each room has touchpad controlled lighting, music, and climate controls. The mansion has 25 bathrooms, six kitchens, and a dining room that can accommodate up to 200 people. Wow, Imagine getting lost insane. inside this house. The amazing home is just one of three of. Imagine it's a massive party there. <laughs> Bill's most notable properties. He also owns a massive ranch in Southern California that he bought from fitness icon Jenny Craig. This home sits on huh. 228 acres and was bought for about $18 million. This lot includes a racetrack, a guest house, office, veterinary suite, orchard, and five bars. Gates also owns another horse farm in Wellington, Florida, which he purchased for $8.7 million in 2013. His daughter Jennifer is an avid equestrian, and they had previously rented the house when in Florida for her competitions. Mark Zuckerberg. Huh. The 37-year-old Facebook... Or just stay at a hotel. But <laughs> it's like, oh, we're just gonna buy a house. Makes more sense, right? Founder plans to work remotely for up to half of 2022, and his $320 million real estate portfolio is more than able to accommodate his work from home lifestyle. Zuckerberg has 10 properties across four locations Palo Alto, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Kauai Island in Hawaii. Mark and his wife Priscilla with their children. It just amazes me his houses look like resorts. They're just so crazy nice and live in a $7 million home in Palo Alto. The primary home is a 5,617 square foot, five bedroom, five bathroom wood floored home on 0.41 acres, which he purchased for $7 million in 2011, the year before he got married. The house was built way back in 1903, and at first glance, you might think Zuckerberg is living modestly and not spending all of his billions like other billionaires, but that is not the case. The home's luxury shtick is that of Marvel Comics-like AI that controls the whole property. Wow. 
Zuckerberg retrofitted the home with custom-made artificial intelligent assistance with the voice of Morgan Freeman and a Facebook cannon which launched <laughs> Morgan Freeman, like really? <laughs> just gray t-shirts. He has a knack for also buying surrounding properties to ensure his privacy. <laughs> Did I just say privacy? The owner of Facebook? Yes, you heard me right. Privacy. He bought four <laughs> homes worth $30 million surrounding his main Palo Alto residence. He bought an off-market property in 2013 which he paid over $10 million. The property located in Dolores Heights is spread over an area of 5,542 wow. square That's feet. Amazing. He later invested another $1.6 million to renovate the home to which he added an office, a media room, a half bathroom, a laundry room, a wine room, and a wet bar. Zuckerberg loves Hawaii. He can't stop buying up land there. Oh, he currently yeah. owns 1,400 acres of land there. He also added a new roof along with all new landscaping, but the big ticket real estate item for the Facebook boss is the two land parcels in Kauai oh, that he purchased for a whopping $100 million. He plans to set up 700 acres of property for extravagant family getaways. These land parcels have a 2,500 square foot spread of ocean view and an operational organic farm. The plans are to construct wow. a two bedroom residence along with a 16-bay garage complex. Like Warren Buffett, known... Oh yeah, I think Warren Buffett only has like one house, but I'm curious is the Oracle of Omaha. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time. He has a whole lot of money by having a knack for getting the most out of his investments. He is so adapted to this process and his home is no oh, yeah. exception to this skill. In 1958, Buffett bought his home located in a quiet neighborhood in Omaha for $31,500 uh, and he still lives so there today. Cheap. Now the property is valued at around $800,000 and in keeping... That's so insane. 31000 and it was now worth 800. Yeah, that's my boy. With his reputation of modesty, the home isn't even one of the more expensive homes on the block. He says he's happy there and would move if he thought he'd be happier someplace else. It's 6,570 square feet and has five bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. He calls it the third best investment he's ever made. Buffett is huh. currently selling a home in Laguna Beach for $11 million. But don't worry, he didn't break the bank on that either. In 1971, he bought the house for just $150,000 despite all of his assets. While pricey... That's crazy. Like, makes you wonder why he bought that area. But I guess it was super smart. <laughs> I made a lot of return. It's still quite modestly sized for a billionaire's getaway. Despite all of his assets, Buffett chooses to live modestly. Larry Ellison. Okay. Larry Ellison, Chairman, Chief Technology... Okay, somebody I actually haven't reacted to yet, so this is going to be interesting to see what kind of house he has. Technology officer and co-founder of software giant Oracle is another familiar billionaire that could not be left out. He's dubbed the nation's most avid trophy home buyer by the Wall Street Journal. Ellison has steadily plowed his riches into real estate, amassing a portfolio well above $1 billion. His holdings include multiple homes in Silicon Valley and wow. Lake Tahoe, as well as 98% of the Hawaiian island of Lanai, which he bought from Dole Food chairman David Murdoch in 2012 for $300 million. Wow, His crazy. home in Woodside, California is inspired by Japanese imperial design. This estate sits on 23 Whoa. acres and features an 8,000 square foot home. I love that design of the Jap like he was a Japanese style. It's so cool. Ellison reportedly sunk $200 million to upgrade the property, perhaps to advance his vision of creating a network of ultra-luxury home museums around the world. It feels like you're living in a paradise in this home. The Woodside property includes 10 buildings, a lake, a tea house, and a koi pond. Along with his passion for Japan and the real estate he's acquired worldwide, he also owns around two dozen properties in Malibu worth millions. At least 10 of these properties are on the famed Carbon Beach. Ellison also wow, owns... Along with his passion for Japan and Along with his passion for Japan and the real estate he's acquired worldwide, he also owns around two dozen properties in Malibu worth millions. At least ten of these Wait, see so he owns all of that. That's crazy. He's like he's owned like this whole neighborhood. Properties are on the famed Carbon Beach. Ellison also owns much more in Cali, including a racket club he acquired for just under seven million. Mukesh Ambani. That's crazy. If you think you've seen it all with the previous houses, wait till you see this billionaire house, which outbids other houses on this list. Ambani is the CEO of Reliance Industries, a Fortune Global 500 company, and India's most valuable oh, company. Yeah. But I, I watched something before about him and his brother about, like, I think cruises, or maybe it was airplanes, but they just love to outdo each other. It's crazy the amount of money they spend. 
by market value. Ambani is the richest man in India and is of now the 12th richest in the world. He currently holds the title of owning the most expensive oh, yeah, the private home house. in existence. His home, which is named Antilia, is located in Mumbai, India and has a 27-floor skyscraper valued at over $1 billion. Wow. The mansion sits on 400,000 square feet. Antilia, which was named for a phantom island in the Atlantic, features a multi-story garage with space for 168 cars, a ballroom, four helipads, gardens, a temple, guest suites, a health level, and a home theater that seats 50. The mansion requires a reported 600 staff to maintain. Ambani moved That's into this insane. mansion with his wife and three children in 2012. Oprah Winfrey That's Oprah great. Winfrey is known for being the most successful talk show host of all time. Oprah lives an incredibly lavish lifestyle. Oprah Winfrey has seven houses. Whoa, the first house in Montecito. Winfrey purchased this 23,000 square foot home for a whopping $50 million back in 2001. Whoa. That's crazy. It's located about six miles from downtown Santa Barbara. After changing the decor to meet her exquisite taste, Winfrey knows the home is downright gorgeous. Man, this was like the like a blast from the past. Like, it's so amazing. Like all this art, like all these art pieces. Wow, that's so cool. Just inside and out. The massive home also features a large pond with a fountain in the backyard. Her second home is on Orcas Island. Whoa, Winfrey's what? latest purchase is a 41-acre estate located on Orcas Island in the northwestern corner of Washington That's State. Amazing. She purchased the eight-bedroom, six-and-a-quarter bathroom, 7,303 square foot estate that sits on the property for a cool $8.275 million. Wow. I thought it was going to be way more expensive. That place looks amazing. She even has 3,000 feet of private shoreline, according to Velvet Rope. In 2016, Oprah purchased a 23-acre horse farm, Seamare Farm wow. Estate, for nearly $29 million at auction. The 21st Century Farmhouse has a wraparound porch with ocean views, a country-style chef's kitchen, a terrace off the master bedroom, and dining space that can accommodate six. For years since she became one of the first female billionaires, Oprah has been racking up an incredible collection of multi-million dollar real estate. Steve Jobs Man, the late Apple CEO. Steve Jobs was another modest billionaire. The billionaire technological trailblazer of Apple lived in Palo Alto in a 1930s beautiful but modest mansion built in rustic style. The mansion wow. sat on half an acre and was 5,768 square feet. It included seven bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. The home was very much a British country style, fitting beautifully with the rest of That's this quiet cool. neighborhood and certainly didn't stand out as the lavish. Wow, look at that view. That's insane. You see the mountain? It's like, it's like a painting. It's cool. Residence of a high-tech mogul. Which of these houses do you love? How much can you spend on the home of your dreams? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like. Man, that was crazy. I mean, uh, the first like four, I think it was Jeff, Elon, Mark Zuckerberg, and Warren Buffett. I reacted their stuff recently, so like, I knew pretty much what kind of houses they had but the others were pretty insane and out of all of them I personally like the Japanese one the most I think that was really cool the the CEO of Oracle I can't remember his name <laughs> but the house is pretty dope um, yeah I mean I enjoy this video and um, comment down below which house you like the most or which house you would want if you could choose any of these houses they're all amazing but uh yeah and um if you enjoyed this video leave me a like subscribe and thank you very much